So let's leave the shit sector. I'm not working here anymore. Back bay. Well, first of all, you get a repair job. Yes. And you get a repair job. Yes. Repairs for everyone. And you get a redesign. First of all, repair everything. Missiles, where are they? Over here. I do finally have an LRM-15. So, LRM-10 in here, LRM-15 in here. And now we are a bit overweight. Uh, but we can't fix this by dropping a single heat sink. Now, the LRM-15, 14 heat, 10 heat, 24 heat. And sometimes we shoot our lasers in addition to that. This is a better design. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Now, let's manage these tasks. The quick ones first. Yeah, that looks fine. Navigation. Now, I want to make my way over here. This looks like a ton of fun. So, we will be traveling to Spencer. What a nice name. 13 days of travel. Let's go. 13 days of tra travel will be more than enough to fix up all our... Uh, yes, your service on behalf of the exemplary commander. My governor wishes me to convey their gratitude. Perhaps we should formalize the bonds and form an alliance. No, we will not. And our workshop upgrade will also be ready once we dare, which is perfect. And we've got a lot of mechs we need to keep up with. Also, I do hope that when I visit the next site with a black market that we finally get our black market invitation. Maybe we have to buy it. It's also a possibility. But we are now on a phantom pain. Passing by the med bay, you spot mummy bear wrestling a medical monitor uh, from a med tech. You need to take a second look. Mummy bear presses her hand against her stomach and winces. I know something is wrong. I feel like I am dying. You pause, uh, you pause in the doorway. What's going on here? Mummy Bear relinquishes the monitor and the med tech clears her throat. Mummy Bear complains of abdominal pain and are purely neuro neurological. Phantom pain, Commander. There's nothing to treat. We've checked. Please, Commander. I'm not making this up. Mummy Bear takes a deep breath. If you authorize an ex exploratory surgery or another ex ex examination, I know the mech techs will find something. Um, do find something else. I trust your judgment, Mummy Bear. You turn your gaze to the Metex, give her another examination. Nothing invasive, unless it's warranted. Later that day, you receive a report from the Metex. The second examination of Mummy Bear revealed a large cyst hidden behind her appendix. They had to operate her on immediately. You rush back to the med bay to visit her in the recovery room. Everything's fine. Mummy Bear got dependable. Perfect. So, trench bucket is also repaired. And we also improved our me uh, mech tech. Score. Network ordered. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. So, first of all, ship upgrades. Um, at some point, I should start doing these, and I do not need a training module. Uh, 30 days, 20 days, 20 days. Yeah, I'll do this All one. Right. I'll get the team on it right away. So, store. What's in store? I like stores. Ooh, Cyclops part. Is this a good Cyclops? No, the Z variants are the good Cyclops. And Oink. 
I don't have any oink parts. A rifleman. I do have a rifleman part. Blackjack. Chicada. I don't want a Chicada. A decent LRM5. LRM20. A extra damage LRM20. We are absolutely buying this one. New weapon systems available. Extra damage SRMs. Six and uh, sorry, I'm four are also New pretty amazing. Available. Contracts. Let's see what's got you. What's in store? Come on, give me something good. Ooh, this all looks like fun. Titan attack! We have an urgent assignment that we'd like your assistance with, Commander. We have a secret listening post here on Spencer. We just learned the local government agents have discovered the base location. We need to transmit all the data we've gathered uh, to a dropship in orbit, uh, and things in orbit, but they are already advancing to the facility. Worse, we're detecting an engine signature from an assault class mech closing on the base. We need to drop immediately and protect the base until we can get the data transmitted. Yes. Also, it's 43 volts, so we will get extra payment. And we're not going to take the Vulcan. We are going to take one of you. And let's get a good team out. Now, Pylon, you're definitely in. You're going into the Centurion. You are going to snipe the cockpit of the Assault Mech. And Traveler. Beetle? Is Beetle going to be in? No, Vision. We need our A-team, our main A-team on this. Uh, let's see what kind of assault mech we get. Let's do this. Base defense in the tundra. It's probably a stalker. If you're assaulting a base, you usually take a stalker with you and just load it up with all the guns you can find and then just go ham with it. <laughs> We're going to try to keep an assault mech from destroying a facility without any ground intel. This seems like a terrible idea, Commander. Begin mission. Command interface initiated. Mayor, are you picking up the assault mech? Who you say to be here? No, wait. Shit, that's big. How the hell are we going to... Okay. Engage it and keep firing at it. I uh, just want to go on the record here. That's a terrible plan. You're going to break my max. Okay now. Let's do this. So, a good idea is to stick in the woods. Moving to position. Picking up a blip. So, that's no assault class. That's a heavy mech. That's also not a salt mech. Also, mm, I think I'm fine. Where did that Jenna run to? Huh? Is he over there? Eh? Am I? What are your orders, oh, he's all the way over here. Hello! <laughs> That's a trebuchet, so... Hmm. Punching will help him losing his guarded stance.
Um, just lop some damage into him. I thought so. Oh no, it's a hunchback. Not again. The hunchback takes priority. Start lobbing at him. Good shots. And more damage into the hunchback, please. And with a bit of luck, we will tear off an arm. Well, we critted the AC-20, which is something. So, let's see. Oh, it's a catapult! Amazing! I want a catapult. Uh, focus fire on him. Try to take out the AC-20. And shoot it. Yes, move over here and get rid of the hunchback. There he goes. Topples like a giant. Now, I should also do something about you. Try to kill him, please. He is almost done. Now, the catapult will probably bombard... Yes. Ooh, it's still standing. Now, a solid punch will take care of the Jenner. There we go. That's him gone. Now, where is the reinforcements? I don't know. So, get into his back. Oh, wait, you get into his back. I can't get into his back. That's kind of annoying. Then punch him. And you also punch him. Precision strike. 
Take out the slack. <laughs> so, where are these reinforcements coming from? They should be coming from over here. Ready to rock. Reporting. Uh, just unload on him. More melee attacks, more melee attacks. And there's a knockdown. So he is a defender. Try to knock out his legs. to knock out his legs. So, he's trying to stand up. So I still have no clue where this super heavy mech is. But I can try to snipe him still. And punch him. I am out of precision material. So... We have to do this the old school way. Tearing him apart limb from limb. Ah, too bad we caught him. Ah, there he is. Ninety five tons. Show me what he is. It's a banshee. Oh, God. Uh, precision strike. Try to take off his head. Move as far as you can. Oh, let's see. Can I have some direct... Nope. Lop some missiles over. Mummy bear. Move over here. Position strike. Try to lop some missiles at his head. Yes, we got the shot in. We need to kill the pilot as good as we can. And you start sprinting. Understood. 
So, a Banshee is usually a melee kind of uh, mech. So, we have to be careful. Uh, unload. How might I help? Uh, no. Which leg is it? It's his left leg. So, jump over here. And shoot him in the sides. And unload, please. Yes, Commander. On my way. And more unloading. Ooh. I think those were some good leg shots. Structure exposed. Good. No critical damage. Start shooting in his other side. More sh side shots. Should try not to hit the score. So, go to here. More headshots, please. Uh, a lot of stuff happens. I think this is his third hit. That's salvage! <laughs> Alas, it's only a banding a banshee. Banshees are heavy; they are fast, but they are not that well that uh, not that well armed up. So, three banshee parts. Too bad about the catapult parts, but banshee parts, yes. And we got the catapult part, and a hunchback part, and the gender part. Amazing. Now, with a bit of luck, we can find the remaining Banshee part in a shop, a upcoming shop. And then we will have our first Assault class mech. It would be kind of funny having a Assault mech first before we even have a Heavy mech, because I don't even have a Heavy mech yet. Also, Hunchbacks. Hunchbacks are also pretty amazing. So you, you are going to be immediately scrapped. And the Hunchback is going to get our fattest AC-20 in there. Let's do it something like this. So, big guns. We could put one of these in. Or we could put one of these in. AC-20 ammo. Boop. Boop. Add some jump jets, because what's more terrifying than... A mech with a big ass gun, then a mech with a big ass ju gun jumping right behind you. And let's see, let's put in a gyro, maybe. Also, yes, 
Hunchbacks are amazing melee max. They do 80 damage, even though they only weigh 50 tons. So you will definitely get one of these. And you will definitely get one of these. And that gives you two medium lasers, so you can shoot, shoot. You have a total of 10 shots, which is more than enough. And I still have a ton left. What's going on here? Uh, ooh, he has actually three hard points. So instead of one AC-20, I could also put in three AC-2s. <laughs> The LB20X is also a idea, but I do like just having a big ass gun. Just go doop. And just killing a bunch of mechs. Hmm. Now, this is very weird. Usually, I. I could just put in a single heat sink, but that's not really the point, is it? Even a small laser doesn't fit this out. Flavor? No. Well then, let's add more armor. Perfect, make it so. Uh, what's your stock loadout? The stock loadout actually comes with heat sinks. Yeah, you do not need them on them. We're running hot. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. So um let's take a quick look in the store again. Banshee parts? No Banshee parts. And let's take a look at which contract we'll be taking in the next time. <laughs>